Unit 2 Energy Lesson 1 Energy, Resources and Forms Fuel and Energy Give reason 4 The fuel inside the car is similar to the food inside the body of the living organism. This is because burning each of them produces energy which makes the car move and the living organism do work. Work If you want to move this piece of stone, you can't only order it to do this. You have to exert a force on it to force it to move in a certain direction. Whether this force is a pushing force or a pulling force by any means. So when a force acts on a body, it moves a distance in the direction of such force. It is said that a work is done on such object. Joule. It is the measuring unit of work, also it is the measuring unit of energy. The used mathematical relation to find work is Work is equal to force times displacement And its measuring unit is Joule If we want to find force, force is equal to work over displacement And its measuring unit is Newton For displacement, it is equal to work over force And its measuring unit is meter Problem. Calculate the work done by a person to lift a weight of 130 newton, a distance of 10 meters height. Given, force is equal to 130 newton, distance or displacement is equal to 10 meter. So we want to find work, work is equal to force times displacement, which equals 130 times 10, equals 1300 joule. What's meant by energy? It is the ability to do work or to make a change. And its measuring unit, as we said before, is Joule. What are the forms of energy? We have many forms of energies. We will only mention seven of them. The first form of energy is mechanical energy, which is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy examples for mechanical energy stretched spring waterfall the second form of energy is light energy examples electric lamp kerosene lamp the third form of energy is sound energy which is produced from loudspeakers and radio cassette. The fourth form of energy is electric energy, which is generated from wind generators and solar cells. The fifth form of energy is chemical energy, which is stored inside food and car battery. The sixth form of energy is Heat energy, which is produced from heater, oven, and burning of wood. The seventh and the last form of energy is nuclear energy, which is resulted from the reaction in the nucleus of an atom. Resources of energy. The main resource of energy is the sun, which is permanent source of energy. The wind, which is considered renewable source of energy. Food, which contains chemical energy, and we can get energy from it through chemical reactions, through respiration. The fuel. 
which we can get energy from it also through chemical reactions and fuel is a non-renewable source of energy this means that it will end in some day the final resource of energy is waterfall which is considered from renewable source of energy which is used to generate electricity give reason for developed countries aim to use the solar energy wind energy and the movement of water more than before this is because they are cheap resources of energy and do not pollute the environment the mechanical energy what's meant by mechanical energy it is the summation of potential and kinetic energies of the body for example if we have this worker and this worker is holding this small container and he will climb this ladder as you can see as its height from the ground increases its potential energy increases and if he let this container to fall the kinetic energy of the container increases and its potential energy decreases let's do it with a larger container as we go up its potential energy increases but in this case it has a higher potential energy than the first one if this worker let this container to fall down its potential energy will decrease and its kinetic energy will increase if we have a ball and this ball is left to fall down from a height of 2 meters so its potential energy is maximum at that height and its potential energy can be calculated from the rule mgh mass times gravitational acceleration times height so its potential energy is 20 as this ball falls down its potential energy decreases and its kinetic energy increases when this ball reaches the height of 1 meter its potential energy decreased into 10 joule and we will note that its kinetic energy will increase from 0 to 10 joule but if we add them together potential and kinetic energies we get 20 joule which is the mechanical energy so at maximum height mechanical energy equal potential energy only on reaching the object at the ground mechanical energy is equal to kinetic energy only at the midpoint mechanical energy equal twice the kinetic energy or twice the potential energy this is because at midpoint kinetic energy is equal to potential energy and the work done in this case is equal to mechanical energy or is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy problem calculate the mechanical energy of a moving body its potential energy is 2000 joules and its kinetic energy is 100 joules mechanical energy equals potential energy plus kinetic energy mechanical energy equal 2000 plus 100 equals 2000 and 100 joules potential energy what's meant by potential energy it is the stored energy in the object due to a work done on it in this case this person is doing a work to lift this stone and as the height of this stone increases its potential increases until it reaches the maximum potential energy at C and if this person let this stone to fall down its potential energy will decrease gradually and its kinetic energy increases until it reaches its maximum value 
just before hitting the ground.